Hello, and welcome to Elvis Creatives. In today's video, we'll explore some common errors that may occur during the installation of SolidWorks, and more importantly, how to resolve each of them step by step. SolidWorks Toolbox Error The first common issue is the Toolbox Error. This happens when SolidWorks tries to access or upgrade the existing Toolbox folder. To fix this, simply use the existing Toolbox folder during installation. The installer will then automatically upgrade its contents to the latest version. No further configuration is needed for this step. Two, SQL Server Error. During electrical installation, this usually comes up when during the initial stage of the installation. Fix method one, connect to an existing school server. Under the electrical options, click on Change, then click Browse next to the school server name. From the list that appears, select the last available option. Make sure to check the box for Connect Using Windows Authentication. Click Back to Summary, and then Install Now. If this method doesn't work, try the next one. Fix method two, install a new instance of school server. Again, under electrical options, click Change. This time, check the box labeled Install a new instance of school server. Now modify the following fields by adding a b at the beginning. School server name. Add a b before localhost collaborative server name. Add a b before tew data location. Add a b before SolidWorks. Confirm that the install a new instance checkbox is selected. Click back to summary and proceed with installation. Three, installation process monitoring. Once you start the installation, stick around and monitor it to ensure no further errors pop up. Some steps might take a bit of time, so be patient and let the process finish completely. Tip, it's always helpful to watch this whole process, especially if it's your first time so installing SolidWorks. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future helpful content. Let's grow this channel together. Four, launching SolidWorks compatibility error. Fix after installation, you might run into a launch error related to compatibility. To resolve this, right-click on the SolidWorks desktop shortcut. Click on Show More Options, then select Troubleshoot Compatibility. Windows will attempt to detect and fix any compatibility issues. Click Yes to continue. If prompted to select an application name and SolidWorks isn't listed, click More to expand the list. Once SolidWorks has been selected, choose none of the above and let Windows troubleshoot automatically. This process helps Windows configure SolidWorks correctly on your system. Five, invalid license key, error. If you encounter an error that says invalid license key, follow these steps. Open Task Manager, go to the Details tab. Look for a file named SolidWorks underscore fs.x. If there are multiple, right-click each one and select End Task, then End Process. Navigate to your original extraction folder. Open the SolidScorp folder. 
Copy all contents from this folder. Go to your installation path, for example, C, slash program files, solid scorp, and paste the files there. Choosing to replace all files when prompted, still in the same installation folder, Locate the folder called SolidWorks PDM. Open it and rename the file found there by replacing .dll2.back.eg, storedprox.back, to prevent licensing conflicts. Finally, from your extraction folder, right-click on the Load Enabler file and choose Merge or Add to Registry. This registers the license enabler in your system. Could not obtain a license for SolidWorks standard. The desired vendor daemon is down. This error may appear in different forms, but the solutions are usually the same. Here's what to do. Open drive C colon, or the location where you installed the FlexNet server. Right-click and run server.remove as an administrator. Then press any key to continue. Next, right-click and run Server install as an administrator, then press any key to continue. This issue is often caused by a conflict with the SolidWorks FlexNet license server. What we're doing here is resetting the license service to the latest version. Now, go ahead and launch SolidWorks. Now go ahead and launch SolidWorks. Note. The first time launch might take a few minutes depending on your PC's specifications. Click Yes to accept the license agreement. To check your license type. Once SolidWorks is open, click the Help menu, then select About SolidWorks to verify your license type. In our case, you'll see that it's SolidWorks Premium. Final Notes If you've made it this far, congratulations on successfully installing SolidWorks. Got questions? Drop them in the comments section below. If this video helped you out, don't forget to leave a like and share it with friends. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe to Elvis Creatives for more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.